Welcome to the Hank Cisco Show. Ladies and gentlemen, don't touch that dial. This show is one of my favorites. It had to do with education. And I just want to start it with school days. This bell, sister gave me when the, 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 day, the last day of St. Patrick's School when they closed down, sister gave me. So you can, I remember these sisters ringing the bell out the window, everybody in the, in the schoolyard. <laughs> but I, this, this uh, show here, this, I'm so happy the fact that uh, the, the, the guest I have here, we're talking about the community college, Montgomery County Community College, okay? And they're gonna put an expansion on. So I'm so much interested in it because I graduated uh, from Montgomery County Community College, the first graduating class when they built it. I, I was an eighth grade dropout, I took my GED, I went to, I started down there, I went down to Country Hocken, Country Hocken High School closed down, uh, and then went over at Flacco's Shoe Store, <laughs> and then we went to Montgomery County Community College. Okay, so when I was on the police department, uh, and, and I would, you know, lead work, and this, I was a police officer at the time, and uh, I used to take off, take off work, you know, or off duty, or whatever it was, and, and, and get my, my uh, degree. And then, I finally got my degree. Okay, here it is, that's me. The first graduating class at Montgomery County Community College, okay? And, uh, and then, you know, I, 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 I didn't think education was that important when I was, you know, I thought, well, I wanted to be a boxer. And uh, I, uh, you know, I thought, well, okay. But somebody whispered in my ear, you better get an education. You got 14 years on the police department. After you leave, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna need a diploma of some kind. And so, there I am, I was interested in boxing, so I, I went to community college, I got my degree, and I got all my folders here, I got all my folders when I went to community college, how many credits I got, how many I, but you know what, I can't find my diploma. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna work on that. And then I thought, I didn't really think I needed that much of education, because I wanted to be a professional boxer. So I, I became a boxer, and I went in the army, and I boxed in the army, this is me when the, in the Fourth Service Command. Wow. That's the Army symbol here. That's my last day in the police department. Picked up my wife and said, goodbye. And that was the end. And I became a county detective. But all this, then I refereed professional fight. This, this picture here won an won a, uh, outstanding photo knockout at the uh, Spectrum, Philadelphia. Wow. And, um, and that's me. And, and that's one of my police officers that I was uh, sparring with. But I just, I just want to so happy that when they called me, you know, when Susan Adams calls me, he says, hey, uh, we, we're gonna have a fundraiser. I said, well, I don't have too much money, you know, but I, I, how about come on my show and we'll talk about it. And then Carolyn Coluccio is vice president, so, you know, so here, here, here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna introduce you, okay. In this corner, I won't say the weight. <laughs> uh, Susan, all right, Susan Adams, all right, now. You are the chief deputy, That's no, Carolyn. no, it's you, Carolyn. okay. Susan Adams, you're vice president of marketing and development for Montgomery County Community College. You also serve as executive director of Montgomery County Community College Foundation. Exactly. Foundation is what's helping get right. money up the there, right? Carolyn Coluccio, <laughs> Tornetta. Tornetta. My, she's my cousin, <laughs> my cousin, you know. And uh, so, uh, and she's a chief deputy solicitor for Montgomery County, okay. Carolyn also serves as vice chair of Montgomery County Community College Foundation Board. Board, She is there, you know, help to get the money, make the contacts, and that's what it's all about. So ladies and gentlemen, and when I graduated, the Times Herald and the Philadelphia Inquirer, they wrote an article, they thought it was great that, you know, that bringing up a family and, and boxing and, and police work and all, and get a degree. And let me tell you, one of the best things I ever did was get a college degree, okay? So here you are, you're in high school, we're in Northtown High School, all my friends, get that education. It means it opened a lot of doors for me. I lectured at the University of Delaware, at the Police Academy, at Philadelphia, and also it, it opens a lot of doors. So, ladies and gentlemen, now I'm gonna ask a question. Susan, tell me all about this Montgomery County, your, what is the fine arts building? Now, fine now, arts. You got it, that's enough talking for me. Hank, first I have to say congratulations on your degree. Thank we'll you. make sure you get that replacement diploma if you can't <laughs> find it. And education is something that no one can take away from you. The value of education is the most important so thing in the right. world. And funny, from your days over Flacco's shoe store, 
The college currently has more than 30,000 credit and non-credit students. That's how large it's grown. And it's located in Bluebell and Pottstown, the two main campuses. How about that? Oh. Mm -hmm. And art, believe it or not, is our second largest transfer degree, right behind liberal studies. We have 3,500 students that come through. When you through. say arts, now dig into that. The what, fine what, arts, the fine, fine arts, art. painting, art? drawings, ceramics. Singing? singing? Not singing and dancing, but that's a whole other show that we'll, well come back know, to I'm, talk I, about. I, uh, I we'll, sang at the Metropolitan <laughs> Life Insurance Company. Yeah, I mean. We'll come back to talk to you about our plans for the performing arts. Okay. We have a black box theater and much separate, more. separate? Separate. No, we're interested in that. And Tom Doyle well, and Fran Doyle, you know, we're. we're Carolyn and I will come back on a future okay. program. Today it's the visual arts, the fine arts, um, okay, ceramics, fine arts. painting, drawing, and new programs that we have. But anyway, with its second largest enrolled transfer degree, we needed a new building. There's right. been the silos of the old art barn the, the, along Route 202, 202 that you've seen for right. a long time. People were, what's in that building? Is and that it's, in, in here? Um, it's actually on the left side okay. of this picture. Uh -huh. And then I'll talk about the expanded project, but the art barn that had been there since we moved to the Blue Belly area really was Gwinnellen Farms. It was a dairy farm that existed mm -hmm. long time ago, and we have been using it as an art facility for. It, it was a farm. I know it was a farm. It. it was a little cow. But the art students, where you walk. the art students have been using it for 30 years since we moved there, and they've really outgrown the facility. So the plans that we're here to talk to you about today renovate the barn and expand the building doubling its size. It's moving from 10,000 square feet to 26,000 square feet. In other words, you're putting an extension on or is it? A it's doubling. If doubling. you look to the left, the part that's in the middle that says art barn, that's this, the gallery area. What, what's going to be the new? This is the new part? The part to the right is the, the new. The right, okay. Yes, the new is complete and we actually had a semester in there this year. And then the part on the left is the original art barn. So you can see the two silos. It actually is a three silo building. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the two silos in the background, that's the two silos that you see from Route 202. Okay. And it, to show you how important now, those two silos are, I think, Susan, if you point out the whole... It's part of our logo. The here. logo here. Oh, the okay. Community. The heritage. we shown the silos right? as part of the logo. Oh, okay. Right? That's the logo. Okay. Because of our heritage coming from Gwinnell. Okay. Farm. Now, you lay the plants out. Mm -hmm. You got to get that green folded stuff yes. up there. Carolyn, how's it doing? How are we making out well, with fundraising? Hank, I'll tell you what. We have a $6 million campaign that we've embarked on. It started last year. Now, the foundation board, of which Susan is the executive director and I'm now vice chair of, the whole point of the foundation board is about 25 years ago, the college formed this board. The board's sole purpose... How many purpose, years ago? 25? 25 years ago. This is the first time that the foundation board came into existence. Mm -hmm. And what it was, it was the private fundraising branch of the college. And what they realized is never before, it had always been used to raise money for scholarships. And our real goal at that point, and always has been, right. is to allow students who were unable to financially afford to make it to the community college on their own to get there. And we worked very hard as a board, and now under Susan's tutelage, to make the community college more available to students everywhere. Right. And that has been incredibly successful and has only grown under Susan's direction. Now what we've done for the very first time is we're going to use the foundation board to raise the private money for the capital campaign. Okay. And that's right. what this is. Enlarge it so you get more people in there. That, right? That's exactly that's right. 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 And, and what's happened is towards that, we have raised over a million dollars to date. And our goal is to raise $3 million. How many? And three, $3 million. Three. Now, it's a you $6 already million. Got one. We've got a little over well, one. Yeah. It's a $6 million campaign. And the what reason. Do you mean if it's six and you got three, what's I'll that? I'll tell I'm, you. Mm -hmm. I'm the reason, three if we hit the $3 million mark, the state has promised to match our oh, funds. Oh, okay, okay, matching. Give you up got that. it. Okay. And, and that's okay. our goal. Senators, legislators, <laughs> governors, get that green stuff up. Come into Montgomery County. Okay, Thank go you. ahead. Okay. So, so at this point, what we're doing is we're reaching out to the community, to the state legislators, to anyone who has an interest in the foreign arts, has an interest in Montgomery County, has an interest in the students and the future of our county, right. to reach out to us also. And, and there are many ways to give. Um, we, one of the highlights, I think, of our giving is the easiest way to give is you can either call the college or you can log on okay. to our website, which is right, right here. What is that? That's www.mc, the number three, Dot edu for education slash art dash barn slash. Right. Mm -hmm. Susan, come on. Thank you. What else? And to pick up on Carolyn, there's many ways that you can give. We accept five-year pledges. You don't okay. have to yeah, give that's, one gift. That, that, yes. 
that's another you thing. A lot of people say, pledge. well, I can't give you, but I can give no. you so much a year, you know. And so. we realize that the economy is struggling right now. Right. But ever so more, our students need the financial resources to support their education. And to continue for these students, they need this facility and the programs that go in this facility. Also, the community residents will benefit from this facility. Many of our seniors in the community use our ceramics facilities and all of our right, programs. Right. And area artists will show their artwork in the gallery, the center part, the red part that's mm -hmm. in the large area, will be a place for artists to come and show their work. And so many fine arts programs need the support to carry through the interest don't, in the don't arts. Don't you think uh, Montgomery County has, what, 52 uh, municipalities, approximately mm -hmm. 52, or is that mm -hmm. 52 police departments? Some, I know it's 52 <laughs> in there someplace. So right. Give I, or take I, a I few. Mentality, police mentality. Uh, I think uh, every town in Montgomery County should contribute some because it's benefiting Everyone's the whole gonna Montgomery benefit. County. So each, each mm -hmm. you know, uh, Bridgeport, Norristown, the mm -hmm. country hockey, everybody come up with something. I think that would be helpful. Everyone benefits, and I think the that's right. Everybody benefits. The impression is that the college receives funding, you know, from the federal, state, and county agencies. But more and more, especially relying on the arts programs, the college needs to rely on private fundraising raising efforts, and so yeah. it counts on the contributions of the individual residents of the county that will benefit from this facility. You know, it's 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 nice for people to say, look, I help. I I had something to do with that building, even if they give a hundred dollars, whatever it is, you know. Uh, it, that, it means a lot to, to look back and say, look, I had some, same thing, I'm so proud. I can say, mm -hmm. I look at that bill, I go by, hey, mm -hmm. I graduated the first class there, yeah. you know? And it's just something, which, and if you contri I contribute something. I think it had helped me, it helped me in my future, you know, being a police officer and even this talk show. I mean, uh, that Hank, college education so is good, but, you know, sometimes you have to learn how to bob and weave a little bit, too, you know? <laughs> and any <laughs> gift, no matter how small, is important and goes a long way to support students. And again, back to the different ways you can give, we take all kinds of in-kind gifts that will count towards the campaign. Many people these days are doing planned gifts, even though the economy is not doing well right now. If they know that they feel a, per a certain passion for the college, that they want right. to give back because they went to school there, to designate the college as their estate, toward, and particularly towards this art campaign. Even if they get Say, well, I'm just going to have a little coffee catch or something. I'm going to invite 10, 15 people to my house or so. Very valuable. And everybody come up with yep. 50 bucks, 25 bucks, whatever. But it's check something. Too small. And then each one, it each grows. You drop the seed and, it, and you know, it blossoms. And I'll tell you, Hank, if you haven't been out to the community college in a while, you will be amazed at the advancement technologically, the, the facility itself, the physical facility, what the educational department has done under the direction of Dr. Karen Stout. The college who, has... Who's who, uh, Stout, right? Yes. She I got to get amazing. her on my show. Yes. I, She's an amazing I, woman. I, I, school... I had her for two times. She canceled out. She had to... Well, you know, she had important. I mean, she's a busy mm -hmm. person. But I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her here. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. She has done amazing things with the school. And mm -hmm. once you get a look at it, you will be equally as amazed yeah. and want to give even more. Well, why don't we do this? Uh, you got a big fundraiser coming up, right? We do have a fundraiser. Okay, what's this all about now? The, the fundraiser is scheduled for next year, April 25th. It will be in the Art Barn itself. Okay. It starts as a VIP. Uh, right, yeah, okay. yes, and this is a great, great view of what we, what well, we expect it to look like. It will have an mm -hmm. upstairs portion. Um, the event will be, there'll be a VIP reception at 6 o'clock, and then the general public will be invited in at 7, 7.30. Okay. Well, and you'll have material coming out. Mm -hmm. well, I, material I, I'm going to talk out. to John and uh, John Doyle and see if maybe we come out and televise that. Oh, but we want to publicize be a little bit more. We'd be honored to have we'll you have, do that. We'll get, we'll get Stout out here, uh, the <laughs> top, top echelon out here, and uh, we'll talk about it prior to the big, uh, the big time. Okay. You're gonna make a big time, right? You're gonna have something to eat there? Uh, we'll have yes. a, a variety of different foods. We'll have oh, music. Oh, that's right. A little, we'll have little spaghetti, little oh, meatballs, <laughs> lasagna. We're also lot. gonna have a lot of the artists will be featuring their work there. We'll auction off some of the, the artwork that's there. We have okay. a, an array of professors that are very uniquely talented, mm -hmm. and the students will also display their work. You know, art, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it, it draws a different, like, uh, I, I'm a former professional boxer. I referee professional mm -hmm. fights, South America, you know, different cities. And you draw different people, a, a wrestling crowd, a mm -hmm. fight crowd, but then you got the theater crowd, see? And the mm -hmm. theater crowd brings restaurants and, you know, and, and people, you know, yes. it, it just makes the town blossom, you know? Yes. Same thing we're doing here in Norristown with Stan Husky and, 
uh, John Doyle, mm -hmm. and uh, in fact, Verb uh, mm -hmm. legislature just gave uh, five hundred thousand dollars start for this uh, mm -hmm. uh, art uh, theater, Norristown Culture, the, the, the cultural art, center. You know, yeah, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're on the move. So I'm so right. happy to hear that, you know. And this is this is class. Yes, Montgomery yeah. County. You know, I, I I had the opportunity to travel all over this country when I was, you know, with the right. police department and. Uh, Oh my God, I'm so proud of yeah. Montgomery County. Their police department, their health yeah. department. We have things that nobody else has, right. and we should be proud of it. Right. Especially Norristown, the county seat. Exactly we'll work right. on that later. Right. Go ahead. <laughs> well, we invite you that to come in, to take a look at the art barn, to come to our fundraiser. Why don't we do All a tour? Why don't we do a tour out there? That'd we'll be do great. a little show. We'd love we to do a tour. After the first of the year, we'll do All something. Right. We'll keep the ball bouncing. You know, there was a guy that came into a town way out in Arizona, a lonely town, a little little town, and a, 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 he had a hardware store there. And the guy came in, a salesman, you know, he says, look, he says, how about advertising? The guy says, what do I want to advertise for? He says, I'm the only guy in town. He says, yeah. He says, what do you have across the street? He says, I have a church. Don't they ring that bell every Sunday? <laughs> so we want to remind people, see? So if we can do a show, you know, remind people, you know. And I, everybody, look, everybody went to school. It was mandatory. So they should mm -hmm. not forget where they came from. That's great. exactly right. I didn't. That'd be great. Okay. What else we got? What else? Well, I guess it's important to note that when you do make a donation, all the proceeds go directly to this campaign, which we call the Courage to Create campaign. Yeah, no more this year. Administrative. Uh, ba -ba -boom. It, no administrative yeah. anything. The woman, Regina Lowry, is running that campaign, and she's doing a beautiful job. And, she, and her ability to draw interest and draw the money has been, has been incredible. Mm -hmm. And through that... Uh, we're able to bring in the Philadelphia Water, Watercolor. Watercolor Society is going to be displaying their art. I think it will be also be at the fundraiser itself. In the gallery. In the gallery. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And for tickets for the event as well, you can go to the same website if you're interested. Again, it's April 25th at 6 p.m. April 25th. 25th. Mm -hmm. 6 p.m. for VIP, 7.30 for the party. Down. April 25th. Well, we're going to do something before that. Yes. Can, okay. we, can we make a little... Uh, can we make a little tour? Uh, We'd love you to come. We'd love we'll you to come. It's beautiful. I like to talk to some students that they're mm -hmm. some art. Great. I want to see some art, uh, some artwork, and all. And you said something about later on. There's going to be uh, about music and performing stuff. arts. We have yeah, a new black. Arts. New, I'm interested in that too. New black box theater opening. We have more than twenty thousand community residents that come in for our cultural affairs series on performing arts. Got any singers? Live Tell them I, I want singers okay. here. I want them here for for. for uh, Christmas, for Easter, for uh, St. Patrick's Day, Columbus Day. I want all Italians singing for Columbus, okay. you know. And uh, you know. And we have a brand new music program, too, which kicks off next fall. So we have new practice music practice rooms, digital piano labs, choral room. Um, it's fabulous. It's, that will be opening up next How semester. How many buildings? They, I remember I, when mm. I went in there, was a one, two, I think it was about three or four buildings there, but I guess now... The Black mm -hmm. Box and Performing Arts Theater will be in the Science Center, which is one of the original buildings you remember. Our newest building that completes the quad is the Advanced Technology Center, which we'd love to have you come see. Right, right. New observatory for the community, all kind of communications equipment, television they, studio, they have, radio studio. Yeah. Yes. That actually was new last year, you could plug the new in. Technology Center. Mm -hmm. What's that? That was new last year. Yes. Oh, yeah? The new Technology Center, and that has... It, it's. Well, another little interesting point is just this year, Montgomery County Community College was named the most technologically advanced community college in the country. No kidding. Yes. And a lot of that thanks is Get to that. the department We're there. Top. We yeah. are top in the country. Mm -hmm. And that, that's, that's a lot of credit towards Dr. Stout and her staff. Yeah, she does a good job. You know, I, mm -hmm. uh, they were, I, I met her, uh, they were dedicating uh, uh, for that movie theater. It's coming mm -hmm. to Norristown. Yes. She was there. That's uh, what. I met her. Yeah. You know, and, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, she's doing a good job. I, had no, I hear no complaints. I'm a former nope. cop, and I don't hear no complaints. <laughs> <laughs> so, She'll be pleased so, to hear that, Hank. So, 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 no, really. But, uh, okay, now, how many, how many students approximately? Uh, we have more than 30,000 credit and non-credit. What, what do you mean by credit? What do you mean? Well, about 13,000 are credit students, and the others are non-credit. They're taking classes, continuing education what do you classes. Mean, they take part-time? Um, Classes and don't get the credit. Mm -hmm. For instance, if you and I went back to school and wanted to take a fine arts class, just for oh, okay. interest, we took it because we enjoyed it and not because we not needed to it towards our degree. Yeah. Right. I think mine was a four year, uh, I had to do it, you know, part time, mm -hmm. got three credits. Yes, we have many part time students at the college. I think it was here. Yeah, got, 
here, I got three, uh, three credits for this and three credits mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. I did it the hard way. Yeah. Three, and you're very typical of our students trying to manage their jobs, family obligations. We tend oh, to have yeah. an older student, yeah. and so we have I many part-time students. I remember one, one teacher, uh, he, was, uh, he asked me to get up and talk about the, uh, a psychology class, I think mm -hmm. it was, you know, because it was something to do with police work and all, you know. Mm -hmm. And that he said, come on up, I want to, there's some, there's students in the class that can be helpful. And that's what he would do. He'd get us in, you know, right. and get up and talk and what experiences we had. And we'd learn a lot from other, other yeah. students, you know. And that professor was just, you know, drawing information. And that, that's, that's great. I know? think that particularly in this economy, that the community college is drawing a whole new crowd. Mm -hmm. It's becoming very appealing because of the economy. People can't afford necessarily to go to the higher cost right. colleges and universities. And what's happening is they found the community college and they find not only that is, is it more affordable, but they had get a wonderful education there. And after a few years there, I spoke to someone just this morning who spent, who had been down and out. He had been actually a heroin addict and he wanted to pull his life back together. He went to the community college for two years. He got accepted into the University of Pennsylvania from the Community College of Montgomery County. From there, he just graduated and is now in a graduate no school at the University of Pennsylvania for medical. I mean, that kind of story is not uncommon. Right, right. Hank, over the last five years, we've had 35% in enrollment growth. 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 Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, the, the number I, you of know, students. You, you have to give the county commissions in Montgomery County. Absolutely. Uh, and the past administrations mm -hmm. that really were behind us Had in the, the very vision. beginning. You know, I remember Park House. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I was a policeman. Park right. House was a commissioner. You know, I think one of the buildings is named after him, if I'm not mistaken, out there. Right. One of the main buildings on the corner. Uh, uh, Jenkins, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and they, they kept the ball bouncing. Now you got the commissioners now are, are you know, keeping it going. And I, mm -hmm. I think it's great. Without the support of the community, a community college could not be. Right. You know, and that is one important. guy says, well, I'm going to go to that college out in, uh, where is it, Yokohama, wherever he's going to go, you know. Oh, he's got 40,000 books in there. Well, how many are you going to read? <laughs> you know, <laughs> how many, you need 40,000. How many are you going to read, you know? Mm -hmm. But uh, it's like I said, you can, you've got your own community college. You're getting, right. your, you're getting your education. You've got top people and people mm -hmm. that care. And you, you're, not, you're not wasting your time going back and forth and being away from home. And uh, you get homesick. You know, well, you know, another benefit. I, I, I think that would have a problem on that. <laughs> I would have a problem if I had to go to some strange town, strange mm -hmm. college, strange right. people, and, and, and get an education. I'd be, you know, mm -hmm. ustanav. You know, mm -hmm. in Italian, that means you know, hitting on a couple cylinders. <laughs> 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 but I, I, I think that would, I, I would like to be home in my own environment, you know, mm -hmm. my own, the people that I know. And all. I, I, I think that's learning. That's, uh, I don't know. I, I'm goofy about that, you know, I, I, I just... Well, Hank, another, another thing I think is very important is a lot of the professors are not only academics, but they're also people that are practicing in the field in which they're teaching. Mm -hmm. So they bring to the classroom not only the academic mm -hmm. knowledge, but also the practical hands-on knowledge. And that gives our student at the community college, I think, a step above a lot of the students who learn only the book yeah. information. Right. But when you've got the hands-on right. experience and knowledge, it gets you a lot further. Yeah. You know, I, I think I had one professor who was named uh, Professor Lawn, I think mm -hmm. his name was, yeah. And, you know, and I was always writing, you know, I'd be uptight, you know, make sure I didn't miss anything, make no, take notes. He says, look, he says, I don't want you to take notes. I'm not going to test you or anything. I just want you to listen. I don't want you to absorb, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I was loose and limber, and I think I learned <laughs> more in that class rather than, you yeah. know, I think I missed something, you know, going back and forth. I mean, everybody has a way of teaching. I mean, I'm not telling a teacher <laughs> how to teach, but... But I, I'm just my own mm -hmm. my own feelings that I think I learned more when I was more relaxed, listened, mm -hmm. you know, he was talking, he was talking about history or something about, and mm -hmm. I I never liked history, you know, but mm -hmm. I liked it. I didn't mm -hmm. like English, but then after I got the right teacher to you know hook me on, I I, right. I loved it, you know. Yeah. We, with our small class size, so many students have that experience that they really connect. Well, in the way, to now their you said professor. something like small class. What do you mean by that? We now? have very small class size compared to a larger university that has 60 students in the class. Our classes range from 25 to 30 oh, yeah? students, so it gives you a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, contact that the student needs and wants. You know what? Our time is almost out, so I'm going to give you, give you 15 seconds. Tell me something. Come on, let's go. What, what do you think about it? What this drive on it? What, 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 what do you want people to do? This is the program and the building for any community resident that lives here that would like to give to find, 
help the fine arts thrive. We appreciate your support. You will benefit from this facility and the students will as well. New programs, jewelry, woodworking, ceramics, sculpture, painting, right. drawing, great, it all. Great. And you contribute by going to our website and we really would pre appreciate your support sure to help us reach our $3 million goal. Come out, visit us, take a look around, log on to the website and, and look into it that way right. and come to the and fundraiser. Then, and, then, and then, what is it, April? April the 25th. April, April, 25th. April 25th. We'll see gentlemen. you there, Hank. Huh? I'll we'll be see there. You there. Yeah. Maybe I'll bring Elvis Presley out there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, maybe we'll get a mariachi. You know? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please. You know, I, I'm really, I, I enjoyed this show and I, I enjoy the fact that I'm being able to help and that now it's your turn to help. So make a contact, you know, and uh, community college, you got it there, okay? Call the station, call the school, call the commissioners. Commissioner's office will help you because they're they're throwing money in there. Call your call your councilman, call your legislator, tell them to get some green stuff and send it over here. For Thank you, Hank. For our arts, right? Right. Thank so, you. ladies and gentlemen, until we meet again. All right, Thank let's you. go here. Thank you. And Thank we you. say Allah salud means to your help. Salud. And here's salud. to chin chin. happy days. <laughs> and then now, children, back oh, in class. <laughs> Thank you. Hank. Okay, that poor sister. I forget her.